Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you the difference between classic SharePoint web parts and modern SharePoint web parts. Um, I decided to do this video because there seems to be a lot of confusion, and that's kind of understandable, um, you know, between the differences of classic web parts we had for many, many years in SharePoint and modern counterparts that we now have thanks to modern sites uh, and modern uh, page experience. Let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So for many, many years, we, you know, the way we um, created apps and the way we added uh, applications uh, to our SharePoint sites uh, was like this. You would first, so here is an example, by the way, um, you know, what you see on the screen right here is the example of a classic uh, SharePoint site, classic page. Uh, by the way, this is not how we build sites anymore. Uh, if your pages and sites look like this, it's probably time to upgrade to modern look and feel. Uh, but uh, let me, yeah, let me uh, take the opportunity and explain to you how we did it in the past. So in the past, if you wanted to um, add a, a, an app, add a web part to your site, you first had to click on the, um, you know, gear icon, add an app, or you can also go to site contents. And then from here, new app, you would click new app doesn't really matter which one option you choose. And of course, you would see a list of all the different apps that you had um, at your disposal out of the box uh, to, to, to add to your site. So for example, if you wanted to um, add another library or uh, like a task list or a contact list, pretty much or discussion board or whatever it was, uh, you pretty much had to uh, had to go through the steps. So let, let me just do one uh, and um, you know, and, and just, just show you the full experience, I guess. So um, I'm just adding the uh, the new uh, the new contact list to, all, to my site, project contacts, here we go. Now, it, when you created an app, right, uh, let's find the app we just added over here, all right? When you created an app, um, it, it created an app, <laughs> but uh, the app uh, was not part of our SharePoint uh, page yet. All right. It's part of the site. It's not part of the page yet. So the second step you had to do was uh, you had to navigate to your page and click the edit button over here. And and now we are in edit mode. Of course, we can change the layout and everything. Uh, and then you would just, um, you know, put the cursor away. You want to embed your web part, hit insert web part, and then embed the a particular web part. I mean, you would see, you would need to navigate through the list of all these different, you know, tabs and pretty much embed our web part onto our page. All right. Just like I'm doing here. Here we go. And then, of course, you would need to hit save to save the changes. All right. So that's that was the process. That's how we added apps to the site and then to the pages uh, kind of in the old days uh, with a classic experience. Now, with the modern experience, uh, the procedure is quite different. So first of all, the whole page editing experience is much more streamlined. And the way we now add applications to our site in modern experiences is a bit different. Uh, the way we do it in, with modern pages, uh, we just hit the edit button. And of course, right, your site probably already has certain web parts added to the page. Uh, and then if you want to add something new, you just hit the little plus icon uh, any way you want to add it. And you get a big list of all the different web parts you see over here. And let me expand it to you uh, for you. So here we go. As you can see, it's it's a list. Uh, it's a, quite a list of all the different web parts you, you have available that you can add to the page. Now, very, very important, um, you, you know, so this list is not compatible with classic uh, classic uh, pages. So any of those modern apps you see here, um, you know, uh, you see here cannot be added to the modern pages. All right. Uh, they're not backward kind of compatible. Uh, what's interesting, the classic web parts are slowly making it 
to the modern pages, but not the other way around. So if you, uh, for example, uh, want to embed a Yammer feed or Twitter feed or, or use, you know, the, the Bing Maps or any of those modern web parts you see over here, you know, they are not compatible with Classic. You cannot use any of these apps on a, on a Classic site. All right, these are all modern web parts that can only be added to the modern pages. Uh, what's in interesting, though, is that so yeah, actually, you know what? If you don't mind, let me just finish one of those uh, one of the steps. Uh, let's just add. I don't know. Again, I'm just adding some text. What you see here is exclusively modern uh, page web part, uh, and you know you would just um, you know adjust it, modify it. Let Let's add another one. Here we go. Quick links. Um, that's another cool web part. I remember in the old days in classic uh, web part, right? If we wanted to add, um, you know, quick links, right? There was the uh, uh, promoted links web part. So we first had to create it, just like I showed you. We first had to, had to create the web part, then add it to the page. Here, it's a one-step process. It's a one-step process, uh, and here we go. We just added quick links web part, and of course, you need to hit publish and. Um, uh, the web part. Yeah, I think I didn't have the reason why it's blank is because I need to have at least uh, one link uh, on my, um, you know, appearing on my page. So here we go. Uh, and now the, the web part would appear. So as you can see, it's much more streamlined. It's definitely much more intuitive for the, for the end user. Again, none of those web parts you see here are compatible uh, with classic pages. I cannot add a news widget. I cannot add quick links. You know, any of those web parts you see here, they cannot be added uh, to the classic pages. Uh, all right. Now, however, what's happening right now is that some of those, let me show it to you again. Some of those uh, classic apps that you see here are slowly making their way to modern pages. Uh, for example, uh, document libraries, right? Document libraries pr were probably in custom lists were probably the first, you know, web parts that uh, became compatible with modern pages. All right, just like you can create a library on a classic site, you can also do the same uh, and add uh, the, the 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 library to the uh, to the modern page uh, as well. Uh, some of those lists, remember my contact lists. Um, my contact list that I created here. If I do the same on modern pages, I can also embed it on modern pages. Let me show you. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me come back here. So if I wanted to, for example, create a classic um, quote unquote, I guess, <laughs> contact list and add it to my page, um, I would need to obviously first add an app. And um, let me find my contacts. Here we go. So let me just create my web part first. So you will still need to go through the creation piece. All right, here we go. And then if you wanted to add it to the modern page, you just edit the page again and let's add it over here. Here we go. Now, because that's a list, we need to find the list web part over here. And then you would choose all the lists, you know, from the uh, you know from the list of all the available lists on your site, and because I only have one, here we go. And look at this. Here is my contact list. Remember how it used to look um, in the in the classic experience? It used to be a classic list. Uh, here we go. Let me just uh, show it to you. Uh, let me navigate back to my site. Here we go. Right, it's a classic kind of look and feel because we embedded it on the classic page, obviously. But uh, here we go. It's nice and modern over here. It's a nice modern list on our modern site. Okay. So now this supplies. It's getting better and better. Uh, and you know, Microsoft is slowly. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, Microsoft is slowly um, modernizing the classic web part. So. Uh, however, some of them still cannot be added. A good example is the uh, tasks web part. So let me, um, the, the tasks web part over here, if I wanted the same tasks web part on the, uh, on the modern page, unfortunately that cannot happen. Uh, let me prove it to you. So gear icon, we are obviously creating an, an app first. All right, so I'm going to create a task list and let's just call it, um, here we go. I'm creating a, uh, a task list. 
and here we go i just edited it look at this you see uh the task list itself has not been modernized just like a contact list all right so what that means is it's still in this classic mode and i'm not sure if it will ever be modernized i hope so um because that's a really cool web part uh but if i wanted to embed my task list onto the modern page let's try it right again i'm going to hit that uh, plus sign here we go right and of course i'm trying to embed a list because that's a list look at this my task list does not appear so unfortunately classic uh this particular classic web part cannot be embedded on the uh, on the modern pages so the alternative for you would be if you it doesn't prevent you from using the task list of course uh you can still uh let me navigate to set contents what you know pretty much the workaround would be to navigate to the task list copy the url and maybe you know maybe add it as a link over here on the left hand side right you can you can do this and uh or another uh, another um, um, you know trick for you of course to 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 add it as a quick link over here right this way users can still navigate it does it, it means that you cannot embed it uh, on your uh, on your page but you can still link to it uh, from uh, you know from your site which is what I'm doing over here here we go so um, yeah just to finish this off and let's publish it so yeah here we go and then the users would click on the uh on the uh, on the link and of course they they will get to see this uh in classic mode right so unfortunately the experience does not carry over if you have a nice modern page uh, as you can see this is uh, kind of a classic experience but at least you can still utilize some of those classic web parts uh, that we, we had for many many years in SharePoint all right so hopefully this clarifies the difference between uh, the classic web parts and modern web parts again modern none of the modern web parts are compatible with classic experience but it does work the other way around the classic web parts at least some of them are compatible uh, with uh, with modern sites and modern pages and if they're not compatible just like I showed you right now you can uh, pretty much use the workaround and link to them directly you can still have them on a site just not you know uh, you will not be able to to embed them on a page and publish them on your nice looking page but other than that you can still use them all right so hopefully you learned something new today and i really appreciate your your attention and uh, hope to see you again uh, on my youtube channel as well as my blog sharepointmaven.com thank you very much have a great rest of the day goodbye